Hi, I'm Hazel Peachy Clark, and I'm an 800 meter U.S. Olympian. I'm a front runner, and being a front runner takes a lot of courage. I go out and lead the races. I can't see what people are doing behind me, and I just go for it. And I kind of developed that in high school, and I never really got too far away from it. I think I feel most comfortable running like that. My first year running, I was okay, but my second year running, as my senior year in high school, I became number one in the country. So running's definitely in my blood. I was offered scholarships from a lot of universities all over the country, and I decided on the University of Florida. My older brother, JJ, was the coach there, and I knew that he would take good care of me. The cool thing about my relationship with JJ, my brother, my coach, is that he's always gonna give you 100%, and so you almost feel like you have to give 100%. It's just great. I just feel blessed that he's my brother. I mean, he's an awesome coach, he's an awesome person, and he's one of my best friends. I uh, ended up winning numerous NCAA titles. I was undefeated in SEC competition, and I really, really would say I had a, a very good college career despite a few injuries, but the biggest thing I got out of my college career were the friendships. I mean, I still am so close to my teammates. They all have come to my Olympic trials. I'm just grateful to have that support. My father is Joe Clark, subject of the movie Lean On Me. Um, some people call him Crazy Joe. And he was a major disciplinarian, but also a major support for me. He was a type of dad that sacrificed so that I could be exposed to everything. The only thing he asked of me was that I do my best. And I think you're a champion when you do your best. It's not always the races that you win. It's just the, the races where you go out there and know that you left it on the track. That's a good feeling. You know, it was great having a father like that. My mother was someone that I could always go to. She would always give me confidence. You know, I had these like stick skinny legs and you know, I was very awkward and she would always make me feel beautiful and always focus on my talents. And I developed a really big personality and I always had a lot of confidence, you know, from a young age and I really owe that to my mom. My older sister is a four-time Olympian, Joetta Clark. She has her own foundation, and um, she made the Olympic team with me in 2000, along with my sister-in-law, American record holder, Gerald Miles Clark. That was the most exciting thing that ever happened in my career. We went one, two, three. One, two, three finish for the Clark family. I think going into the race, I was kind of considered maybe the weak link. I was only 21 years old. My sister and sister-in-law had made three and four Olympic teams respectively, and it was kind of like, what is Hazel going to do? I mean, when I thought about going one, two, three, it was almost like, can we really do this? Can one family go out there and take all three positions for the country? I mean, it seemed almost unrealistic, but my brother, my coach, JJ, and my parents, and my whole family, we rallied together, and we believed we could do it, and we became Team Clark, and we did it. It was just really a dream, and it was so exciting to share that with my family members. Um, when I got there, I just wanted to do my, my very best, and, I, and that's what I did. I ended up getting a personal record. I made the Olympic final, and I walked away just feeling really good about my experience and about myself, and I mean, that was the beginning of my career. That's, that's a moment I'll never forget, being at the Sydney Olympics. That was just so special. I'm over 30, and uh, I've been around for a long time, and when I was younger, people said, oh, well, you're young, you know, we don't know what you can do, so they doubted me because I was young, and now that I'm older, sometimes people say, oh, well, you've had a good run, it's almost like they're ready for you to retire or to give up, but you have to believe in yourself that no matter what anyone tells you, you have to believe in yourself. My dad always told me that it's not about, like, the medals you've won or the car you drive or anything like that, I and mean, those things are superficial. It's more important about the mark you leave on the world. I mean, when you're gone, what are people gonna say about you? And I want people to say that I made a difference, and so I'm working towards that.